you ever see a player just about to take that next step? CD Lamb, man, every time I look at him, it's just you can see it. This shit gonna be crazy. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk, right back. Like I never left. What's up with y'all, man? How y'all feeling? Listen, today I'm here to talk about one of my favorite players in the Cowboys. I'm going to get straight to it, man. C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb is phenomenal. He, Since he's been in the league, his the doubt level for him has been crazy. I really fully believe that the doubt and the hate thing is because he wears the, you know, you know, you know the thing that makes people hate people. He wears the star. But... You know, a lot of people was trying to call him a not a number one, and he only could perform well if we had Amari Cooper and all these situations. And then, you know, after having such a phenomenal year, 1,359 yards, I believe, nine touchdowns, if I'm not mistaken, second team all pro selection, pro bowler, et cetera. You know, you know how he got down this year with no help. No slight to Noah Brown or nobody else on the roster, but he had no help. He had no help. He had no help, you know, <clears throat> no legitimate help because Michael Gallup was coming back from his ACL injury. There's a lot going on. But he went out there, showed and proved, multiple quarterbacks, et cetera. Whatever he needed to do, he showed and proved. But, you know, you can tell he's about to take that next step. He's he feeling himself. He out here he training. He got the shades on, his face on his T-shirt like that. You, you, you can't just do that. That's something you got to have a certain type of flavor to do. You can't just walk around with that on if you're a cornball. You got to have a certain type of flavor. You, you, the sauce sold separately. Like, he, CeeDee Lamb is out here doing this thing. But the reason why I made this video, every year it seems like, seriously, the last two years, CeeDee Lamb do something in the offseason, a training move, some type of stutter step that I haven't seen. And I always get belittled in the comments, yo, I seen that. Everybody doing that. I am not a receivers coach. All right? I don't train receivers. I'm not a receiver. Do I look like a receiver? I'm more like a D tackle right now. DN on, on the team. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. And I just tell you what I see. When I see a move that's not common, I see people come out of their breaks. I watch football like y'all do. You know, I, I even watch some of these these wide receiver camps, these little shuttle, all that, all that type of thing. And when I see something that's like, that's different, I got to talk about it, especially if it's my favorite receiver in the league doing something that I ain't never seen before. C.D. Lamb is training again with his um, wide receivers coach. Shout out to my man, man. You got C.D. Lamb on one in his bag. And he did this little backpedal move that was like, a back pedal to the it, it takes an immense amount of body control to do some of these moves in general. But the back pedal to the forward come out the break is something that I know I can see people now. Well, you're just gonna get jammed, and I think that's the point. I think it's like lowering somebody to sleep. It's kind of like when you see somebody doing dribble moves. Cause I what did I say when I first made my first CD Lamb um training video? I said it looked like he's doing a crossover. Because he was dragging his foot and then coming back across. Now, he's added that to his game. And it's paid dividends. I've seen him do it in game. Then last year, he was doing this little hop, hop, stutter step thing. I seen him do that this year in the game. And people clown me then. Dang ain't going to work. Somebody going to just jam him. This year, I'm seeing him do this backpedal, slow, but body control thing where at any moment, he can come out of his break. That's why the back pedal looks slow, but I think it's the body control in the center of gravity. If you watch it, when he's coming back, he's looking like, okay, if you run up down on me, I got the body control to come out of this break at any moment and cut left or right. That's what I like about it. It's very different. Now, I've also heard people in the comments of the video um, that was originally released say, you know, you're going to get jammed. You got to get the ball out in two seconds. That's going to take too long. You might not do that on every route. You know, going backwards can be dangerous in certain situations. 
But if you're dealing with somebody that's just trying to press you, jam you, and you need to throw a little bit of mix up in there, you know, when plays, certain plays break down, certain plays designed to go a certain way, I think it's a very creative way to get off the line. The whole point of me making this is he just keeps just innovating, training, cha- like changing up his pitch. That's why people say, yeah, C.D. Wall hit his, hit his ceiling. Now that Cooper Cup healthy, C.D. Lamb ain't going to be in the top six. Like all kinds of hate that I get every year. And I'm just looking at C.D. Lamb like, yo, he's ascending. You know, to hear Devontae Adams give him his flowers, right? Tyreek Hill say that's my favorite receiver. In the, favorite receiver in the league, Tyreek Hill. Devontae Adams literally had a little breakdown saying, yo, C.D. Lamb is that dude. Like, I don't know what y'all want. But at some point, you got to just give it up to this man. You got to give it up to this man. He's putting in work. He's getting it. The, the love and adulation, not from the media, from his direct peers, not just from other receivers, from some of the best receivers, top five receivers in the league, you're going to say Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams right now. And when they're getting asked about who's their favorite receivers, if it ain't Jay Jettas, I know Justin Jefferson always gets love. Jamar Chase, you think, okay, then you're going to skip. He's not saying other receivers. They are saying C.D. Lamb. And I don't blame him. The man is a beast. He's smooth. He plays inside, outside. He got the versatility. And when I say smooth, it's just the way he comes out of his breaks, his shiftiness, his run after catch. He the full package. And he young. He ain't even 25 yet. We got us one of them special receivers right now. The Cowboys team is littered with special players. I'm going to do a a, 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 ish, a a video on that. Players that are really ascending in their position. That The reason why our window can't close. You know what I'm saying? Now you got you got Trayvon Diggs ascending. Micah Parsons ascending. CeeDee Lamb ascending. Like, amazing. Tyler Smith, I'm going to say ascending. You know what I'm saying? Jake Ferguson. Remember that name, Ascending? Like, we are straight. Deron Blant, like, I can go on and on. But C.D. Lamb, man, I just want to know what y'all think in the comments, man. I know, I know, people going to say you being a homer, you being hyperbolic, you being overexcited, you stirring the Kool-Aid. I know you the type of fan I hate. And then this is the, this is the thing that, 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 that makes me laugh. Usually when I make this type of video where I'm excited about my team, my receiver, in May, you know, somebody will come on here watching my video at the weirdest times of the night, 2, 3 in the morning, and write comments like, you the type of reason I hate the Cowboys. And I'm like, yo, you're watching a Cowboys video in the middle of the night. My, my face is clearly on the thumbnail, and you still clicked it. Maybe, just maybe, you're a fan or a closet fan, because ain't no way. It's plenty of stuff I don't like. I ain't clicking and watching YouTube videos about it. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, man, y'all let me know how y'all feel about CeeDee Lamb, the training he doing, um, the fact that, and I'm sure he's going to do some more stuff before this. It's, it's only May, you know, and I'm going to report on it because that's what I do. But I'm just excited that he continues to try to evolve as a receiver, not just train, adding tools to his toolbox. So that in any given situation, he going to be ready to be open. Remember, as much as y'all hate on Dak and everything that went on in that, in that playoff game, he went for 120-plus yards versus one of the best defenses in the NFL. Even though they was bracketing him and shut, trying to shut him down and doing their thing, CeeDee Lamb still got his. That shows progress. The year before, not so much. That means he's growing into an animal. But look, man, let me know y'all thoughts in the comments. I just want to jump on this, and I got something else coming for y'all real soon. Because while studying C.D. Lamb, I found another clip of a gem for the Cowboys that I think we might be sleeping on. But I'll holler.